What's up y'all, Mitch here with another Logic Pro 9 tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be talking about decibels and loudness. Now, you might have realized that this was on the survey that I had you guys take. Now, and this is one of the most highest rated things on the survey, so I thought I'd do it. If you haven't taken the survey, go do it. It's in the description below. Choose my next tutorial. Now, let's get back to what I was going to talk about in this tutorial, and that is decibels and loudness. Now, before I start, I want to define a word, and that is the decibel. What is the decibel? We see it all over the place in Logic. We see it down here in the mixer. Oh, we see it in the mixer. We can see it, you know, in, the, in our sends, on our actual volume faders. Everything is in the terms of decibels, even inside of plugins. So what is it? A decibel is a real-world, or it is the representation of real-world volume, all right? Volume in the real world is the compression of waves. The higher the volume, the bigger the wave that is being compressed and you hear it in that way. A lot of physics and engineers use this term because it's really easy to use. We can add and subtract it in a logarithmic scale and it just turns out all the numbers are really nice and easy to use. So that is why we use decibels inside of logic instead of using the actual real world numbers which are very crazy and we just there's no need to use that. We can just use a representation of the numbers and that is the decibel. All right, so how do we use this decibel? One of the biggest questions I've gotten over the last few months is, Mitch, my, cl my tracks are not clipping, but my final output is clipping. So what, first off, what is clipping? Clipping. We, clipping is what happens when you over, you add too much gain to the actual power rating of the amplifier and there's an unnatural overdrive, all right? So that means there's too much volume for your track and then unnatural amount of overdrive is put on your, that track and that is not good you want to avoid clipping at all costs if you don't know what clipping is that's when the little here just sec I will show you what clipping is but anyway yeah we don't want to do clipping alright so I'm gonna turn all these volumes up and on the output you will see that it's gonna turn red and that's when you know it's clipping Tell yourself that you're blind. All right, so it was over by 1.9 decibels, which is actually quite a bit, and you do not want to be doing that. So, why is my track clipping? And that is because all of these tracks, even though they are not clipping, are routed together into the output and combined into the output, and that is what you hear in your speakers, in your headphones, whatever it is, all right? And so, the addition of all these tracks end up being that the output is clipping. All right. If you are going to be sending this to an actual audio engineer to get it mastered, or if you're doing it, make sure that you add, I would say, about two to three decibels of headroom. This could change varying on who you ask the question to, but I shoot for two to three decibels of headroom. A lot of people, and I've actually heard people do this, is just lower the output of the lower the output, the volume of the track, just the fader, to give you more headroom. And although this works, I feel that in the end this is not what you want to be doing. Why? Because this means that you are mixing at a very high volume. Pro tip here everyone, you want your track to sound better, mix with lower volumes. Why? It's because you have more room to work with. Your dynamics can be bigger. If you want to add, you know, a really big bass drop to a part of a song, if you have lower volumes on all of your tracks, you have a little bit more headroom to work with. And in the end, your track will sound better. So pro tip, work and mix with a lower volume on all of your tracks, all right? And in the end, you don't have to lower the output volume or the, the fader on your output track. It will already be set to about two to three decibels of um, headroom. And that's exactly what you want, all right? So... That's really all I wanted to talk about today. Just define a few words, show you what's up. If you are using auxiliary tracks, which I am in the song, I just have them turned off, it's the exact same. All that's happening is you're routing the sound from these main tracks into other tracks, and then those tracks are being sent to the output. So, I mean, it just does, it gets a little bit more confusing, but not really. In the end, all that's happening is these tracks are being sent to the output, and you need to make sure that they are all, you know, of decent volume that you get a headroom of two to three decibels, all right? So, decibels and loudness. We talked about that today. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you'd like to see more of these tutorials, hit that subscribe button. Yes. And comment, rate, you know, if you have a question, hit me up in a message. I'd be totally down with that.
I'm totally down with that. Everyone, thanks for watching. I will be back very soon with some more tutorials. Stay fast.